yes, I finally am. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, so how you guys doing? I I know, I know, I know. We're supposed to meet up at 12 p.m. Uh, a lot of extra things happened. I kind of got all over the place with uh, the load of work that we have going on, but I was like, I can't disappoint and like not put out a live video. So here I am. So hopefully some of you will be able to join me. I know it's like 2 p.m. Eastern time zone, kind of late, but for those tuning in and who are gonna watch the replay, thank you for uh, you know subscribing to our YouTube channel, for following us, for um, taking part in the giveaways that we have that start at, uh, actually at uh, Hannah Stuck on Instagram, and that's where all the giveaways are happening. We have about, what have we been doing that for? Almost 30, it's going, we're doing a 30 day giveaway, and now we're at the 17th day, so we have about 13 days left. So I hope you've been enjoying the giveaway. Um, I also have a free gift if you're on Instagram. I will repost on YouTube. Don't worry, I'll repost the information and where I post like the community posts. Um, you can find out about the free gift uh, that we have today, which is a free deodorant with your orders of $35 or more. That's only one per person per order though. And what else do we have going on? Um, then we have a sales event, especially on Instagram. You have to check out our Instagram page. We have a coupon there for 25% off. You guys will love it. So welcome, welcome. I think I'm missing the majority of people that usually do tune in because I am so late. But I hope that you got to catch it. If you're not seeing me live right now, that you're going to catch and watch this replay. So let's go over a few things that I had going on today in class and Instagram. Uh, where actually it was pretty much on time, luckily. <laughs> so this is actually the free giveaway of the day too. It's Organic Rajasthani Henna. You can win three packages of this amazing henna powder. And people like Indian henna powder because it's kind of versatile. It like freezes well. It, it's really consistent, has good longevity too. So it's easy to work with both for your hair and for body art because it's triple sifted. So it's so fine and it's amazing. It's a really great go-to henna powder for sure. On the hair, it gives you kind of like a burgundy tone. It's really pretty. Um, it does cover gray hair, which is really gorgeous. And on the skin for uh, body art, it is really like striking the color of um, that kind of tone, you know, that reddish burgundy kind of tone on the skin. It's so, so beautiful. Um, on all shades, all hair types, all hair types, every, for everybody, it looks just gorgeous on everyone everyone's hair, everyone's body art, like, body, yeah, for body art, <laughs> it looks amazing. So what do I have here? I got, first I got a whole big package of henna powder, and um, I'm going to be showing you guys how to mix that with um, some, like, shea butter and cocoa butter, which I have over here, and I also have some fructose sugar, I have some aloe vera powder, I have uh, the amla powder, and I have essential oils. So all these ingredients are going to be used for these different kind of recipes. There's three different recipes that you can use. First, we kind of you can focus on just getting the most out of the color, using henna at its strongest and not diluting it with you know, cocoa butter, shea butter, or coconut milk really helps bring out like the color. That helps a whole lot. You can add aloe powder if you want to add volume or maintain your curls. Uh, add aloe vera powder for moisture, which is really great. Like aloe vera powder is so good for that moisture that your hair will need. Um, and that goes for all hair types all hair textures. That moisture really, really helps um, soften the hair. It just makes it really gorgeous. So that would be like your, your henna hair color. This is like your henna hair color recipe right here. This one right now. This is exactly what it should look like. And that dye release, oh, it's looking amazing. It's looking really great. It's a little lumpy once I mix it. It'll like smooth out really, really nicely. And then, if your focus is not necessarily getting the most like out of the color of the henna, but you want the strengthening and the thickening of the hair strands and just gorgeous soft hair, then definitely you can then play around with your recipe a little bit more. Add some cocoa uh, butter, some shea butter, which we do carry online. So we have all of these ingredients uh, available for you online at hennasoup.com. This is the recipe that was with the oils. You can see it's very, very, very kind of like oily. So I got a lot of a great uh, shea butter and cocoa butter. I put both in that one in particular. And that's really a, you know, a great recipe for that conditioning as well as, again, like I mentioned, strengthening and thickening your hair and not really like focusing too much on the color. You might get a little tint of color, but it's not going to be very strong because it's, it's using heavy liquids, dilutes um, you know, the color a lot. 
Um, and then I mix up a henna for body art. I put pure essential oils in it. I added the fructose sugar, which helps it stick to the skin better. That is amazing. So like while you're doing your hair, why not mix up a little bit for some body art, do some cute designs. That would be so adorable and just beautiful, you know, on the, on the skin while you're doing your hair. So I have, these are three amazing recipes that you can do do it yourself are so easy using the organic Rajasthani Indian henna powder. And I want to mention that I really love this little crock pot I have right here. This crock pot is about like a 3.5 quart um, crock pot that I got off of Amazon. And it just gently like melts the cocoa butter and the shea butter really well. So it's really gentle and, and it just melts it slowly without like burning. You don't, you know, any of these raw natural ingredients, you really want to just take care to be gentle and mild when you're um, you know, mixing them and, and uh, just you don't want to pull out any you know, of the benefits, you know? So you gotta be really gentle and careful you know, when you're mixing this, that you're not like, you know, like hot boiling water is, is not really not a good choice. It just, it could kill off like the benefits of uh, using these uh, herbs and these ingredients. So I will mix it. Uh, we don't have a lot of people in the room today though, so I think I'm gonna take this to IGTV because I wanted to show you guys how to mix this. So if you do follow us on Instagram, you can watch the video there and the replay. You guys will absolutely, um, you'll love it. You will definitely love it. So you can definitely do that. I apologize. Oh, hey, hey. <laughs> I apologize that I was so late to class. Sometimes things happen, but I don't really don't mean to disappoint. Um, but these are three great recipes. I'm going to talk a bit more about them on IGTV since it's a little quiet on YouTube. But um, definitely, um, you know, check us out. Take advantage of um, the sale that we have going on, the free gift mm -hmm. offer, and also take part in our giveaway, which starts again on our Instagram page. It's uh, Henna Sook, H E N N A S O O Q. If you have any questions about using henna, either for hair color or maybe your focus again is not color, but you just want to do a conditioning, strengthening treatment, you know, and or maybe henna body art, definitely post below. Post your comments. I'll be more than happy to answer your questions. Um, definitely. And stay tuned. Our web, main website where you can find all this great information too is hennasook.com. And um, yeah, thanks for being here. My name is Khadija and I will see you next week. Yes, at 12 p.m. Eastern time zone.